I want to talk about The Exorcist Part 3. You didn't expect me to say that, did you? You thought I was going to talk about The Exorcist. Well, we'll get to The Exorcist, but you know, everyone knows about that film. Anyway, The Exorcist Part 3 was released in 1990, directed by William Peter Blatty and starring George C. Scott. Now, a lot of people either uh, have never heard of this film, or they completely ignored it because The Exorcist 2, The Heretic, is roundly sort of seen as a an horrific film. So the third one couldn't be very good. Well, let me tell you something. The Exorcist Part 3, or Legion as it should have been called, I'll get to that in a minute, is in my view a fantastic horror film. Um, it's it's a suspenseful supernatural thriller and mystery film and it's it's wonderfully done and it has some really frightening moments in it it's quite an unsettling film in a very different way from The Exorcist in fact there's an argument that can be made that in some ways uh, The Exorcist Part 3 is a more successful horror film than The Exorcist now before people jump on my back when I say that I'm not saying it's a better film but what I'm saying is that The Exorcist deals largely in my view with the uh, disturbing its audience and I think The Exorcist Part 3 uh, has a more traditional uh, horror aspect to it I think it's, it's more of a spine tingler basically so the film follows uh, the Detective Kinderman the detective from the original Exorcist film only this time he's played by John C. Scott and he's following these brutal murders that are happening um, in his neighbourhood and as he investigates it, it leads him to this uh, I think it's an insane asylum basically where there is a, a patient there who Apparently was uh, if as far as I remember, I think his body was recovered from a, a river, and he doesn't remember who he is and all that sort of stuff. And I think he was in like a catatonic state for like fifteen years. And the detective, uh, Detective Kinderman, goes to see this patient and recognizes him instantly as Father Caris from the original film. Which, well, I don't want to ruin the original film if no one's seen it. But anyway, uh, he's surprised to see him, <laughs> and. Uh, the film then takes a change of pace where the patient that the detective is going to see uh, claims to be a serial killer, a famous serial killer, and uh, starts toying with the, de the detective, giving him bits of information about different murders and things like that. And But then the question is, how could he possibly be doing it? while he's, he's, he's incarcerated and the detective slowly starts to believe him that somehow the consciousness of this serial killer is inside the body of his friend, Father Caris. So anyway, that's the bare bones of the film and the film's really a mystery on him trying to put together exactly what's happening and, and uh, there's a lot more to it than that but I don't want to go too much into it. I've probably said too much already. Um, it's directed by William Peter Blatty who wrote the novel for The Exorcist and he wrote the book Legion which this film was uh, developed from. Now the f this film's really famous be for, for one thing, although it's a relatively unknown film in a lot of circles it is I say it's famous for one thing in film circles it's famous because the entire ending of the film is has been fabricate, fabricated in post production basically there was the film was just to be called Legion it wasn't to be called The Exorcist or it wasn't supposed to have anything to do with exorcism it had some of the characters from the original story and some links to it but it wasn't about that and the producers forced William Peter Blatty to change the end he'd already shot it uh, so he'd shot the complete film 
and then he had to change the end and they had to put in an exorcism into the film and it, and it does lose its way at the end it does feel totally tacked on rushed it doesn't feel like it was completed and um, it's a real shame because I've heard what the original ending is and I think it could have been a brilliant ending to the film and uh, yeah so it, that's a real shame that that happened to, to this movie but it's still better than the majority of horror films out there it's, it's really really good it's really effective and Jossie Scott is brilliant in the lead role but Jossie Scott is brilliant in everything it also has in my opinion one of the scariest scenes in cinema history and it is this scene it's it it's on a on a hall in a hospital wing. When you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. It is the work of a it's it's a work of genius that scene. The timing of it is just sublime and it gets me every time when I watch it. I remember the first time I watched it and my brother had given me the film through and he sat outside the, the door listening in and he waited for that scene. To, to, to play and as soon as it played as soon as he jumped in like that he seemed to, you know, to see the look of shock on my face so anyway great film definitely check it out The Exorcist Part 3 in Europe it was called Legion Part uh, Legion Exorcist Part 3 so um, definitely check it out it's wonderful wonderful and it's better than the two modern Exorcist films they made which were pretty terrible in my view I wish William Peter Blatty or Blatty sorry had, um, wish he directed more films because it's really really good thumbs up and apparently the footage is lost for the original ending of the film but maybe we'll find it one day fingers crossed